students welcome back to the channel today i am very happy to come up with this video on doubt clearing session on the topic quadratic equation uh, i feel really happy as students are taking interest and they are finding doubts and writing down in the comment section for a teacher it is an appreciation that the students are taking interest and enthusiasm in solving the sums and learning through the videos i would really encourage if other students also come up with their doubts and we are always open to solve your queries and your doubts and i strongly believe that the first step of learning is to try so when you start trying automatically you gain the knowledge and the skill so first of all the people or the students who have not seen my previous video kindly go back to the video on quadratic equation and see how to solve the sums and the basics are clearly mentioned then and after the video if you find any doubts you can mention them in the comment section we are going to definitely upload a video on the doubts which you have raised so now let us start with the doubts which have been raised by mehak katarmal and also trisha shetty begin with a doubt clearing session and here we have the first question it the question is a quadratic equation and we need to find out the solution for x okay so here simply i open the brackets by multiplying two with the each term inside the bracket similarly on the other side and i get 2x square minus 12 is equal to 3x minus 12 taking common terms together so here 12 goes on the other side and becomes 0 and i take 3x on the left hand side and i get 2x square minus 3x is equal to 0 now here usually we get three terms for solving the quadratic equation but here we only have two terms so it does not make it more complex we just need to apply logic here that we can take the common term outside that is x and inside the bracket we get 2x minus 3 so automatically here we get two solutions of x One is x is equal to zero, and other is solving the bracket. That is two x minus three is equal to zero, and therefore x is equal to three by two. Let us see the second sum. That is question number twelve of the exercise five C. Here it says x square minus a plus b x plus a b is equal to zero, and we need to find out the value of x. So first of all, we open the brackets here. so opening the bracket gives me minus ax and minus bx okay now here we need to do is group the terms so i am taking these two together and these two together and what i simply get is x minus a and x minus b is equal to 0 and the values which i get for x is x is equal to a and x is equal to b all of these steps are very easy we just need to understand from where to start the sum just apply the basics and it's very easy how to solve these uh, quadratic equation or how to apply splitting the middle term or how to group all of these have been explained in detail in the previous video on the quadratic equations so in case if you have any doubt you can mention them in the comment section now moving on to the next sum again here they've given a quadratic equation and they say that x belongs to rational numbers so we need to find out the solution where in the value of x should be a rational number so let us start solving it applying the splitting the middle term method again as explained in the previous video i have opened up the equation into four terms again grouping the terms together i get here common as x in this case and in this case i get two so grouping them i get two values for x that is two expressions and on that we get x is equal to 5 by 2 from this expression and i get value as 2 from this so here both of them will be the value of q because both of them are the rational numbers say for example in this case they would have asked say the number should be a natural number then in that case 5 by 2 wouldn't be included we would only be taking 2 so it depends upon which value or which group the variable belongs to needs to be considered before writing the solution moving ahead to the question number 17 here it looks a bit complicated but again you just need to apply your basics so here the equation is x minus 3 upon x plus 
plus x plus 3 upon x minus 3 is equal to 2 1 by 2. So here you see that the denominators are different. So you cannot proceed with solving the sum. So first try making the denominator same by applying your LCM method. Now here what you just need to do is multiply this by x minus 3 and multiply this one by x plus 3. And you see what I get is x minus 3 whole square and here I get x plus 3 whole square. For again making it clear I am telling you how I did it. Multiplied both the side by, oh sorry, numerator and denominator by x minus 3. And in this case, I multiplied it with x plus 3, x plus 3. I hope you know the rule that whatever term you multiply a denominator, you need to multiply a numerator with the same term. So therefore, I get x minus 3 into x minus 3 as x minus 3 whole square x plus 3 into x plus 3 gives me x plus 3 whole square and the denominator since it becomes common so it is x plus 3 and x minus 3 on the other hand i have solved the mixed expression and i get 5 by 2 applying a minus b whole square that is a square plus b square minus 2ab and in this case a plus b whole square that is a square plus b square plus 2ab so solving on the basis of the given expressions I get this equation now taking the common terms together x square x square gives me 2x square 9 and 9 gives me 18 this 6x and this 6x gets nullified and this is the equation on the next step which I get now simply cross multiplying so this expression gets multiplied with 2 and this gets multiplied with x square minus 9 again opening up the brackets we get is 4x square plus 36 is equal to 5x square minus 45. Taking the common terms together, I get x square is equal to 81. Here you can either do it directly, that is x square is equal to plus minus 9, or you need to do this step, that is x square minus 81 is in the form of a square minus b square, which is a plus b, a minus b is equal to 0. So here again you get the same value, that is x is equal to 9, and x is equal to minus 1. This is 81 is the square of 9. So you just need to apply the basics and you get the solution easily. Let us see the next question that is question number 23. The equation is 9x square plus 3x by 4 plus 2 is equal to 0. Again here you cannot proceed with solving the sums unless the denominator are the same. So we take an LCM here. So multiplying the numerators with 4 and you get this. 3x square plus 3x plus 8 upon 4 is equal to 0. Now this 4 is transposed on the other hand. Now here we use a formula method. So a is equal to 36, b is equal to 3 and c is equal to 8. Now we apply the formula method of the quadratic equations. Students who have not seen the earlier video Please see the video and learn how to solve the quadratic equation using the formula method. Now coming back to the sum. So here I apply the value of ABC in the formula and I get this. Now in this situation when you see on solving I get root minus 1143. Whenever this situation arises this kind of term is called as an imaginary number. Okay. And there is no solution for an imaginary number and therefore we say that the root for this equation is not possible as root minus 1143 is not a real number and therefore there is no solution for x. So again repeating whenever you get such situation wherein you get negative sign inside the root. So in that case such numbers are called as imaginary numbers and they are not a real number therefore there is no solution possible for the given equation. Moving to the question number 24, here we need to find the value of x if a plus 1 is equal to 0 and x square plus ax minus 6 is equal to 0. So here they have given an uh, equation that is a plus 1 is equal to 0. Using this you need to find out the value of x in this quadratic equation. So now if a plus 1 is equal to 0, we can also say a is equal to minus 1. Now this value I am substituting in this equation. So in place of a I am going to write minus 1. So I get x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. 
Now again you can apply your quadratic equation uh, formula method or you can apply splitting the middle term. Here we have applied splitting the middle term method and I get the formula sorry I get the answer as x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus 2. Now let's see how to solve question number 26. Use a substitution p is equal to 2x plus 3 to solve for x if 4 2x plus 3 whole square minus 2x plus 3 minus 14 is equal to 0. Now in this case instead of x square we have 2x plus 3 and this is a quadratic equation. So let us do one thing. Let us substitute 2x plus 3 is equal to p as they have mentioned in the question. So the equation becomes 4p square minus p minus 14 is equal to 0. Now this is very simple and it's a simple quadratic equation. You can apply any method to find out the value. Here we have applied the splitting the middle term method and we get the value of p is equal to 2 or p is equal to minus 7 by 4. But a solution does not end here because here we have only calculated the value of p but we need to find the value for x. So here again if p is equal to 2x plus 3 and the value of p in case 1 is 2 so substituting the value equating them and I get x is equal to minus 1 by 2. In case 2 where p is equal to minus 7 by 4 again substituting it and equating them with 2x plus 3 I get 8x plus 12 is equal to minus 7 8x is equal to minus 19 x is equal to minus 19 by 8. So through this you can calculate the value of two variables. Solving question number 29 it says if x is equal to 2 by 3 is a solution for the given quadratic equation find the value of m. Okay so here they have given us the value of x we need to find out the value of m. So it's very easy we will substitute the value of x in the given equation that is done here and we get it as 7 2 by 3 square gives you 4 by 9 m 2 by 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 opening up now we are going to take the common terms together so 28 by 9 minus 3 and plus 2 m by 3 but here the denominators are different so first step will be you will have to take lcm so let us take the lcm as 9 itself into 3 into 3 and here it will be 9 into 9. So here you get 28 plus 6m minus 27 whole by 9. On the next step 9 goes on the right hand side and it becomes 0. So you get an equation 28 plus 6m minus 27 is equal to 0. 28 minus 27 will give you 6m plus 1 is equal to 0. This one goes on the other end side so you get 6m is equal to minus 1 therefore m is equal to minus 1 by 6 is your solution. Now let us proceed to question number 31. Here it says x square minus m plus 1 x plus 6 is equal to 0 has one root. Okay so here we know the value of x. Find the value of m and the root of the equation. Means that the equation has two root out of which we know 1 that is x is equal to 3 and other we need to find out. Also we need to find out the value of m. So let us start. Since we know the value of x so we are going to substitute that in the given equation. Okay. So in place of x I am putting 3. So 9 minus m plus 1 3 plus 6 is equal to 0. Solving it it is opening the brackets. I get m is equal to 4. Okay, so first is we have got the value of m. Now what we are going to do is we are going to substitute the value of m in the original equation and now we will get the real quadratic equation which is x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. Again you have option you can either apply formula method or splitting the middle term method. We have applied splitting the middle term here and after grouping we get the value of as x is equal to 3 or 2. Now in the question itself it is mentioned that 1 root is 3. So this we already knew. So the other root automatically is 2. So we say that x is equal to 2 becomes the second root of the given equation. Here also we have uh, calculated the value for two different variables. So it is very easy. You just need to substitute the value of one variable which is known to you 
in the quadratic equation and find out the value of the other variable and once you know the value of the other variable you need to find out the original quadratic equation and solve accordingly now let's see question number 32 it is similar to the question number 31 it says given that 2 is a root of the equation 3x square minus px plus 1 is equal to 0 and px square minus qx plus 9 has equal root find the value of p and q so here you have two different quadratic equations and you need to find out the value of p and q and you know that the value of x is equal to 2 so let us start solving since we know x is equal to 2 as given in the question we substitute that in the given equation and what you get is value of p is equal to 4 as we did in the previous sum for calculating m now since i get the value of p i will substitute this in the second equation okay and the remaining variable will be q which we need to find out so i substitute the value of p in the second quadratic equation and i get 4x square minus qx plus 9 is equal to 0 now we are going to solve this using the formula method so b square minus 4ac is equal to 0 and uh, in place of b we are going to put the value q and place of ac we are going to put 4 and 9 as per the quadratic equation and what i get on solving is q square minus 144 is equal to 0 144 gets transposed on the other side and therefore i get q is equal to 12 so it is very easy again using the same method we have calculated the value of two different variables so you just need to know where and when to use the step and this is only going to come by practice and more sums you practice more easily you will be able to solve different variety of the questions now is question number 33 they say solve x by a minus a plus b upon x is equal to b a plus b upon ax Again, we will have to first apply LCM to proceed with the sum on the left hand side. So we have applied the LCM and here we get the equation in this form. If you see here AX and AX is common, so they get cancelled out. And what you get is AX square minus A square minus AB is equal to AB plus B square. It is X square is equal to A square plus B square plus 2AB. Now if you see this is nothing but A plus B whole square. So here you represent it as a plus b whole square and therefore you get the value of x is equal to a plus b. So this is just you need to know all the formula well and you can solve the sum easily. Let's see how to solve question number 34. This is a quadratic equation and first we need to simplify it. So here we take an LCM okay, inside the bracket and here you get 1200 plus 2x upon x x minus 10 as it is minus 1200 is equal to 60 as it is now this 1200 i am shifting on the right hand side so i get 1260 now this x i am taking on the other hand side so i get 1200 plus 2x x minus 10 is equal to 1260x applying the distributive property here you get this equation on opening the brackets we get this value now I am dividing the whole equation by 2 to make it more simpler for solving. So on dividing the whole equation by 2 I get 600 minus 6000 plus x square minus 10x is equal to 630x. Taking the common terms like terms together you get this equation. Again you can apply any of the methods splitting the middle term method, factorization method, formula method etc. And on applying here we get the value of x is equal to 100 x is equal to minus 60 so you get here two values so we completed with all the doubts which Mehek had raised and i appreciate her efforts now we are moving ahead with the doubts which trisha has raised in the comment section so let us see what doubt she has here it is exercise 5d question number 8 it says 9 x square plus 1 by x square minus 9 x plus 1 by x minus 52 is equal to 0 okay so here what we are going to do is to make it a simple quadratic equation we are going to substitute this by some other variable so let us take it as y so here we have taken x plus 1 by x is equal to y okay but here if i just substitute this i will get 9 x square plus 1 by x square as it is minus 9 y minus 5 2 that is 52 is equal to 0 
this won't be a simple quadratic equation because this will remain as it is so what we will have to do is we will also try to convert this somewhere in the form of y so what we have done is we have taken we have squared this that is a plus b whole square and i got x square plus 1 by x square plus 2 is equal to y square now we only need this right so what i have done is taken 2 on the other hand side so what i get x square plus 1 by x square is equal to y square minus 2 so what we see here is we have also converted this in the form of y so now it is very easy to solve so in place of this i put y square minus 2 and in place of this we put y and 52 as it is and our new equation is 9 y square minus 2 minus 9y minus 52 is equal to 0 simplifying it by opening the brackets so our quadratic equation becomes 9y square minus 9y minus 70 is equal to 0 you can apply any of the method here we have applied splitting the middle term and we get the value for y is equal to 10 by 3 or minus 7 by 3 this is not the end to our solution we need to find out the value for x since we assume y is equal to x plus 1 by x i substitute the value of y here in case 1 what i do is first i take lcm so it gives me x square plus 1 by x cross multiplying that is i'll show you how to do x square plus 1 by x is equal to 10 by 3 you cross multiply you get 3x square plus 3 and here you get 10x opening you get a quadratic equation again 3x square minus 10x plus 3 is equal to 0 you get two values x is equal to and 1 by 3 in case 2 when they say y is equal to minus 7 by 3 again applying you get a quadratic equation 3x square plus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0 and you get x is equal to minus 7 plus minus root 13 by 6 you cannot solve it further because 13 is not a perfect square so here what we see is that first we get a new quadratic equation on simplifying we get two values again using the two values we again get two different quadratic equations and solving them again gives us value 1 2 and 3 so this is very easy you can find out the value using this method for the variable x here is exactly same as question number 8 again we substitute y is x plus 1 by x in order to substitute this in the form of y we apply the formula a plus b whole square and we get is x square plus 1 by x square is equal to y square minus 2 like we did in the question number 8 okay now the equation new we get is 2y square minus 2 minus y is equal to 11 that is 2y square minus y minus 15 is equal to 0 which is a very simple quadratic equation on solving you will get value as 3 and minus 5 by 2 there are two cases one is by solving 3 and one is by solving minus 5 by 2 by this i get quadratic equation x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 and the value i get is as given and through other method i get the equation as 2x square minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to minus 1 by 2 so these are the values which you get so the method is exactly same as what we followed for question number 8 and i hope all the doubts are well cleared for both trisha and mehak